Hello everybody, welcome back to Surviving Mars. In the last episode, we needed to do a little bit of rearranging with our colonies, mainly because we need more houses. Um, because we have four unfilled work areas, which is the farm, that's not good. Let's do a high priority on the farm, that'll bring more people to work on it. Um, and we also need to get a second shift here at the machine parts factory, so we need at least eight more people to show up. So, I'm going to not- I'm not gonna do any of that, it's been a little bit since I've played, so I'm touching the wrong buttons. So, these three buildings have been stripped down, and now I've given the order for the drones to go strip them further to get them out of the way. We'll build a house there, and we'll get some more people to the colony. Meanwhile, our rockets are here, so we need to get them out of here. And series regular Kalo wishes me to name a rocket after him, so this is the USS Kalo. That I can't apparently type at all today. And we'll send that one back to Earth now. Ah, shit! Long ah, don't launch! I didn't realize there were resources aboard. There's some food aboard. Oh no. Uh, let's see, we're gonna grab our transport. Oh, he's still delivering fuel over here. Come here, transport. Hold on. Why don't you grab ten units of food, and we'll move it over there, and then this will, uh, the USS Kalo's food will be taken away. And meanwhile, we have the Gabriel-1. This one is ready to take off, but still needs five more rare metals to have a full... Uh, full amount, and there's a few here. I don't know why the drones aren't going after it. Oh, because the this drone hub's damaged. Ah, oh, son of a biscuit. Okay, hold on. I'm also using some weird music, as you can probably hear, so... Why don't you grab an electronics part, little drone? And then come over here and repair this drone hub. Ugh. Oh, my first colony I, was sponsored by the U.S. And the U.S. had, um... Their, their unique thing they do is drone hubs don't require power or maintenance. And I did not realize how spoiled I was to have drone hubs that did not require maintenance. Because holy crap... Drone hubs requiring maintenance just shuts down everything. Now, why did I shut this down? Oh, because of the water. Yeah, we need water badly. So, I've been trying to think about what I'm going to do about the water. Um, if we have a drone hub up here, then we can at least make fuel. The other thing I could do is run a pipeline from here all the way down to here. But the problem with doing that is I'm going to have to cover a lot of space when pipes get damaged or dirty or whatever. Um, luckily, pipes themselves don't require maintenance, but it's still a pretty big job. Still, that might be the only thing I can do. Because we need water down here very badly, and it's just not happening. I guess I may as well do that. Um, so, also, speaking of naming things, our RC commander has been claimed by user Liam, uh, Bukima? Please, uh, forgive me if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but I will indeed name this Commander Liam. So, Commander Liam is now our RC commander, and, uh, we had a volunteer who did, after all, want to be named for a concrete extractor, or vice versa. So this concrete extractor, um, oh wait, this concrete, holy crap, there's only 3.5 concrete left in there? Well shit, never mind, uh, where's the other one? That only has 29.3. We'll name the next concrete extractor after Joe, who volunteered for that. Um, I don't want to name any of these, because they're almost done. I, didn't, I did not realize they were so close to being done, or I would have not shut them off. Um, go ahead and turn back on, guys. Yeah, they need repairs. That's why I shut them down, because they need machine parts. But now we're making machine parts, so it's okay. So we're going to take Commander Liam, and we're going to have him pull in his... Uh, 
pull in his drones. Then we're gonna grab our RC transporter and I need to get a full load of metals. So I accidentally discovered a feature the last time I played on my own that I'm gonna take advantage of here, which is drones are smart enough to take materials from a truck if there are no supplies elsewhere, or maybe it's just they grab the closest location and that could be a truck. So we are going to make a pipeline from this dome all the way up here. The only problem is if there is a if there is any damage, if there are any leaks, if there are any repairs that need to be made, it's going to be a pain in the ass to go get them repaired, but so it goes. Sometimes you've got to take some of those, uh, I wouldn't say risks, but I don't know. We, we're going to just have to do it. Oh, shit. There's, get that out of here, too. I didn't realize I still had my small fountain there. So we'll build the house, but there's really nothing we can do for a little while because the rockets will still be on their way, but at least it's a start. I also found out... So during my first colony, I switched everybody over to apartments, but it turns out that people don't like living in apartments because they're too small, and so people are happier when they get to live in these living spaces. So I'm going to try to build these living spaces instead from here on out. We'll see if I can get that to work. Sometimes some domes are going to need more people to work with. Um, okay, the USS Kalo is ready to go, so we're sending it away. Bye, Kalo. Have a safe trip home. And now... Alright, so we will open up the drones, and then we're going to have to do this a bit slowly. So we're going to drive our truck over here. So... Um, everything is connected, so putting a pipe here on this dome also allows the water to come this way. Uh, all pipes and everything are two-way, all electricity is two-way, you don't have to worry about. We supply an endless hit parade of musical home runs. An endless supply of musical home runs. Anyway, so you don't have to worry about the direction of your power, your water, which is nice. Um, unlike a few games, I'm trying to remember which game it is that's recently come out where you actually have to worry about the direction of your water and power supplies, but I don't remember now. Oh, whatever. All right, the point is, we're gonna hook up some water and hopefully everyone's gonna be happy. So we're gonna drive the truck over here and Commander Liam is, yep, everything's in range here. So all we have to do is we'll drive our metals truck up here right next to our right next to Commander Liam and I'm still getting still trying to remember the controls I've been playing a lot of different games lately um, <coughs> excuse me I've been playing some oxygen not included which I still want to do for the show one of these days as well so I'm getting all my controls kind of scrambled okay so now the drones should why is only one drone moving? Oh, I bet you the other drones here are, are building this. Okay, that's fine. Um, so we'll just keep on going here. Yeah, even though it says too far from drone commander, we'll, we'll get that fixed. No worries. All right, and then I want to kind of line it up. So let's go this way. Let's Research go like that, like that, and like that, that, there we go. So all of these symbols are just that the drones are out of range, which is fine. We'll just pack them in and um, move them slowly as we go here. So I'm going to wait until they finish whatever they're doing now. What is he doing? Why are you carrying a ra uh, waste rock? Oh, he probably had to destroy a rock in order to uh, build the pipe. So that technology we got, which is Explorer AI, means the explorers can now be put in... Never mind. No, they can't. What does that do? Wait a minute. Uh, R is research? No. H is research? Yeah. Ugh. Weird. 
What is Explorer AI? Oh, generate 100 science per day for each RC Explorer. Yes, gosh, we definitely need that because we're not getting science very much any other way. Um, let's see what else we got for technologies here. Polymer factory. <sighs> I'm going to need that sooner than later. We need the... We have the upgrade for that. Um, utility crops we've got... Oh man, let's do um, autonomous sensors. The RC transport harvest resource faster and its maximum storage is increased by 15. I don't need that yet. I don't need that yet. Um, Sterling generator. Okay, we'll get the uh, autonomous sensors because I believe autonomous, or I believe sensors require electronic parts to repair too. Oh, no, they just need metal. Eh, still, whatever. It'll, it'll be a nice cheap technology for what we need. And our drones are still working hard. Okay, we're doing okay. Our second rocket is... Oh, man, guys, make more. Make more money. Yes, hurry, hurry, get over there. Once one of our rockets returns to Earth, which I guess will be the USS Kalo since it was the first to launch, we'll get some more people over here. Hopefully we can make some more rare metals. So your people go crazy, legit crazy, if you make them work at night. So I really want to open this work shift, but I also don't want problems in my colony. So it's just going to have to sit where it is. I also need to make a second rare metals extractor sooner than later, but... I mean, we're... On the next rocket, we're gonna get 12 people. I think we need eight. So we're gonna have four people who aren't gonna have a job. So I'll have to take care of that, but at least we've got plenty of people in the farm now. Still working on soybeans, that increases the soil quality while making food. Um, cover crops are better. Cover crops allow you to greatly increase the soil quality, but the cover crops themselves are pretty much inedible, so it's sort of a trade-off. We don't have enough food right now in the colony for me to risk doing a cover crop, so we just have to keep making soybeans at the moment. And now this rocket's ready, so the Gabriel one is on its way home. The full load of metal, we are good to go. So, so far so good right now. Um, Wait, 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 stop. Why is there, what, why is there any resource on the ground? What the hell happened here? Pick that up, there you go, all right. Drive up over here. Okay, so, until we find another place for water, this is my only solution. And this dome is just gonna have to sit here for a while because I really want these rare metal deposits, but, we just, we can't afford any of this stuff right now. Oh my gosh, okay. So I guess I can time skip here because I don't think anything too interesting is going to happen until I get the pipeline made. I do need to make a cutoff though. There, that way if there is damage at anywhere over here, I can cut off the leak. And so we're not spilling water everywhere. And then what I should do is also make a backup. You know what? I'm going to cancel this. We're going to put this a little higher up. And then what I'm going to do is put a water tank, which I don't have yet. Hold on. Let's... I don't even have the research for that. Well, whatever. Okay. So we'll put a water tower here. And then that way, if there is a leak of some kind up here, I can cut off the water supply temporarily, and then this dome can still be fed from this water tower, so they will not be in trouble. See? I have a plan. Pyro's good at management. So I'm going to time skip here until something a bit more interesting happens, or at least we finish this pipeline. Okay, the pipeline is done, but we still have the issue up here where currently the water extractor is off, and that's because it needs machine parts to be fixed. We have all these, what are you doing? Oh, you're getting metal from over here. That's nice. No, don't do that, stop. Grab, um, 
Just go home, buddy. Just go home, transporter. You can drop off your medals and everything will be fine. So, we still don't have a drone hub here, so what I'm gonna have to do is use the mobile drone hub, the Commander Liam here, to at least sit here long enough until we can get another drone hub. And this means what I'm probably gonna have to do is I'm going to have to get the technology to make my own drone hubs so I can uh, be self-sufficient at that because we're so far flung. Usually I don't like building my own drone hubs because they are extremely expensive, but we need our own drone hubs. We need to be able to be flexible enough to make them on our own. So I think what I'm going to do is we're going to start in on this dome now because although we need polymers, I may need to wait for polymers, but we need to be able to make our own polymers. Um, we're going to need more money, which is how we, you know, we have to pull it out from here. Um, there's just a lot of things we need. We need a production dome and this will be our production dome. That was its original intention anyway. So... I need to start the process of getting this dome functional. But one of our rockets is already back home. So that is the USS Kalo, as you can see up here. So right now we need eight people. Do I want more than eight? Hold on, pause. We're going to need four people. Oh, we're going to need five people for the machine parts factory. Actually, seven. So five for a whole new shift and then two to replace those. So we'll need seven people for that, and then we need... Is that all the jobs I need? Nine for these for the met for the research lab. I may as well just call for a full group. So Alright, so that's what I'll do. So we're gonna we're gonna grab our we're gonna grab our rocket. So I want three tourists. Um because tourists give you money. So let's clear all of this. Let me see, uh, quirks, I need three tourists. So I can look in here, let's see, this is, he's not a tourist, get out of here. Tourist doesn't work, survivor is good, loner is okay, so we'll lock you. Doesn't work, party animal. Uh, I don't have a space diner yet, so that wouldn't be good for me. Composed, alcoholic, nope. Vegan, tourist, whiner, religious, loner. Uh, I think I can work with that. Vegan, tourist, religious. Good, perfect. Okay, the rest of you get out. So now I need... Let's get that out of here. We reverse that. Okay, so now I need no elders, no children, no middle-aged. Uh, we preferably need engineers, because those are the guys who will do the best work in the machine parts factory. And botanists, because we are a little low on botanists. So that's pretty good already. Let's just get rid of all flaws. So now we're down to 24 applicants. So we've got an engineer who's a party animal. Another one, okay. Sexy religious, enthusiast religious, rugged religious, vegan, this works. Okay, all of you can come, all right. So the USS Kalo is on its way back with another load of passengers. That group will be here. Um, the three tourists will continue to live in these domes because we've got the room, we have 21 spots for people, but they won't work, which is fine, because we're only going to have nine jobs open, I think, if my math was correct. Boy, I hope my math was correct. Meanwhile, we need to get some polymers, because we need to make a polymer factory. I know that sounds backwards, but it's, it's going to happen. So the other thing I need, I need to research um, the ability to make my own drone hubs. Yeah, that's it's they're so expensive since they need electronic parts, but I need to I need the flexibility to be able to make my own because I can't just call for them all the time. 
So that is the plan. But that's going to do it for today. So in the next episode, we're going to build up this dome as we continue to search for water. We only have this one patch right now. We've got to find more water. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow for another episode.